Um, I am just enjoying my coffee and I read Solo Cup because I'm fancy. I have all these cute um, iced coffee mugs and, you know, mason jars, but I just use this. Um, so today I'm going to do a grocery haul and I'm also filming another video right after this so I will be in the same outfit, but that's okay. Um, I'm just trying to, you know, pump out those videos. Um, I do want to say a couple things before I get into this, so bear with me. Um, my last two videos was a recipe video and then I did a pregnancy update and I said my next video would be our gender reveal. Um, but after I kind of talked with my husband and everything, I decided that I was going to stop YouTube, um, which I will get into. And then, uh, my phone's ringing. Sorry. So, sorry, my phone started ringing. Um, but I decided I enjoy doing this and I'm going to keep doing it, but I'm going to um, kind of navigate this channel a different direction. Um, the reason being is my husband, who I support 100% in this decision, is just not comfortable being filmed and he's not 100% comfortable with our child being filmed. Um, I support that decision 100%. I understand his feelings about that. I have no issues. He's just a very shy, private guy, so um, he just doesn't want to be in these videos. And if I'm going to run a vlog channel about my life, I want my husband to be a part of it. And if he doesn't want to be a part of it, that's totally fine. But I got to move my channel to a different direction because I just don't want to put content out, content out that I don't, you know, like 100%. So this channel is going to be centered completely around food from grocery hauls to, um, recipes to what I eat in the day videos, which are kind of vlogs, but just mostly centered around food. Um, so I'm just going to keep this food. And that's what I originally, and that's where me and my husband kind of crossed paths was he thought this was just going to be about food. And that was my original thought, but I just kind of got into it a little bit more and wanted to show you more about our life. But like I said, I'm hundred percent in support of my husband's decision and I'm not angry at all. I honestly think this will probably be a lot easier on me just doing one kind of video um, centered around one kind of thing. With that being said, my husband is 100% supportive of our blog that we do, or my blog that we do. Um, he doesn't mind, well he hates pictures too of himself, but he doesn't mind posting pictures as much as videos of himself. So all of our personal family stuff, what we do, um, anything about my baby, um, Things like that will all be on the blog and I'll always post um, links on my YouTube videos that you can go check out about updates about the baby or Scarlet or anything family related that will all be on our blog. Um, so I will say just because I feel like it's um, a big elephant in the room, um, we are having another baby girl. So there's my announcement. I just didn't make a video out of it. Um, we did do a blog post about it already so I will put the um, link to that down below. And you can see our thoughts about having two baby girls. Um, but other than that, like I said, this will just be food centered. So if you guys want to watch cooking stuff and me talking about my grocery hauls and what I eat in the days, then go ahead and like this video and subscribe to my channel. Your love and support and anybody who watches these videos is greatly appreciated. You have no idea. Just people taking the time out of their day to watch my videos means um, so much. So anyways, I'm going to just jump into this because, like I said, I'm filming two videos back to back, so I'm going to get going. So this is kind of a hodgepodge grocery haul. Um, I talk a mile a minute so my throat gets dry. So this is like pregnancy cravings, um, scarlet stuff, and... <laughs> stuff to get us by until the next week. Um, if you, I haven't said it in a blog before or a video, I do an envelope system. Um, so I budget my money using envelopes and I usually use about $100 a week in grocery. But the month of May is crazy. We have Mother's Day, we have 
Devin's birthday, we have his sister's birthday, we have an anniversary, we have, um, I think there's like maybe one more thing. It's just a very crazy month for us in May. And then it just kind of continues on in the summer. We've got, I think, a total of 11 birthdays, 12 birthdays in the month of May, June, July, and now August. Um, so it's just, summer is a very expensive time for us. So with that being said, my budget kind of gets dipped into for presents and things like that. So I had to really be creative with um, the menu this week and the next week until I kind of restack our funds. So, um, so I'll start off this way and I'll just go. This was a, as soon as I walked in the door thing, kind of, I was like, oh gosh. If you guys don't know, I love watermelon. I crave watermelon. Even when I'm not pregnant, I eat it like it's going out of style, which it kind of does because it's only good in like two months of the year. But I found this lemonade and it looked delicious. It's watermelon cucumber lemonade. So I just thought this would be really refreshing. Um, I'm probably gonna try it today. So if I like it, I can stock up on it because you know Aldi, I get all my stuff from Aldi. Um, the things you usually like go bye-bye after a while. Um, then I got, this is um, kind of a snack for Scarlett, like they're not healthy, but it's also a potty training reward because we are working on potty training. It is not going well, let me tell you. Potty training is the worst. Um, this is also Scarlett's that we already kind of opened up. Um, she loves these blueberry muffins. Um, as a snack or sometimes she eats them on the go for leaving around the breakfast time or things like that. Um, I got a thing of Mexican cheese, which I will kind of tell at the end what we're making this week to what these things go with. Um, and then this is a thing I always stock up on if I have them in the store. Um, I made the mistake one time. These are frozen, but they have the Priano, a Priano brand of fresh ones, ones that were lobster, and the other one was crab and shrimp ones. And I bought like, I bought four of them, but like they were smaller size, so we used two for a serving, with like a little bit leftover and stuff. But um, I went back like two days later, sold, they were gone. So I found these in the frozen section, and I bought five bags, and these are bigger, I think, is, in quantity um, I'm sorry guys pregnant and like talking a lot is not fun. okay so um, but anyways I stocked up on these and got a ton so I just it's such an easy meal and I love they're so good so if you ever have an Aldi and you have those buy them because they're good um, just some avocado. We're, again, I'll tell you what I'm doing later in the week or later after I'm done what I'm making with these. These look really good. Usually um, all the asparagus kind of looks a little, um, I'm sorry, I'm feeling really lightheaded. I don't know if it's the talking, being on my feet. I'm gonna try to get through this video. <laughs> this is kind of weird. I haven't really felt this in a while, so I haven't quite ate yet either, so that might be it. But anyways, um, the Aldi asparagus kind of look a little rough every time I go there, but these are kind of thick, so I picked these up. I'm so sorry. I'm okay, I swear. Just kind of lightheaded. I'm gonna sit down and I'll come back in a little bit, guys. I'm so sorry. So sorry about that. I'm still not feeling great, but I need to get this food back into the refrigerator, so I'm just gonna try to power through. Um, I don't know, I ate something to kind of put something in my stomach so I should be able to get through. Um, 
I don't know what that was. It was very weird. I don't know where I really left off, um, and hopefully the camera's okay, because I turned it off so the, the angle might be a little different. I'm sorry. Um, anyway, that hasn't happened in a really long time, so I do not know what's wrong. But I'm okay, guys, I swear. <laughs> Anyways, I don't know if I ended on chorizo or not, but I'm going to start on chorizo. Um, I got some mild chorizo. We really like chorizo. My husband really likes chorizo, so I bought that. Um, some jalapenos, some very large jalapenos. <laughs> um, a bag of white onions. And then I got almond milk creamer. Um, I cook with dairy, I use cheese, but I don't like drinking dairy products as much. I just, I don't know, I just like the taste of almond milk better. So I do use almond milk for like cereals and creamers and things like that. I do occasionally switch back and forth with creamers because honestly you can't really tell the difference. Um, and I don't know if I'm going to stick with this one because the consistency is a little weird because I have been trying this one out. Uh, okay, so then um, to go with my five bags of my shrimp and crab raviolis, I have a couple sauces to get us started, and if my child comes on camera, I'm going to have to stop, <laughs> just because she's not wearing much. <laughs> I think we're good. Okay. Um, so I have a couple sauces to get us started. I have um, a roasted garlic alfredo sauce, a four cheese alfredo sauce because I personally love alfredo sauce and we also have a marinara already in the, the pantry. Um, my husband likes marinara more but I like alfredo and I'm the cook. <laughs> I do make it occasionally for him though. Um, and then I got this pesto because I just had it last week, two weeks ago and it was so good so I wanted to repurchase it and maybe mix it a little bit with the alfredo. I'm not really sure. I, I just love pesto and I can make it and I make a really good homemade pesto but I usually only do it if I'm growing basil because buying basil from the store can be a little pricey. Um, and then this was a completely random purchase and I've never even tried this brand um, from Aldi. I usually stick to Nutella. Um, but this was the hazelnut spread from Aldi and I just, it was, I'm, me and my cousin were talking about Nutella and then it just got me craving it. So I bought this. <laughs> um, no idea what I'm going to use it for yet, just to probably spoonful it out and eat it. Um, and then I have, oh, I have a cake that I forgot to put up here too that I bought, um, um, a cake mix, uh, a chocolate cake mix, so I'll just say that instead of going to get it. Sweet condensed milk for that cake, um, tomato paste, diced tomatoes, uh, two cans, and then um, chicken stock, two cartons. So I'm going to run really quick through what we are doing this week. Yesterday was Monday, it's Tuesday today. Yesterday was the 21st and that's my husband's birthday. And he is, like I said, the most simplest guy in the world. So we literally went to Taco Bell. <laughs> and that was his birthday dinner. So today I have a pork loin that I'm doing. Um, I'm kind of, I'm making this completely up and I hope it works. I don't know if it's going to. I'm going to season up the pork really well. And I'm going to, I'm going to film this. I'm going to season up the pork really well, stuff jalapenos with cheese and like lay them flat on the pork loin and then wrap it in bacon. I don't know if this is going to work. I've never seen this before. I've never tried it. Uh, this is going to be fun. So I'm going to film it. So that will be tomorrow. Wednesday we always usually go to our, my in-laws house, but they're actually going out of town um, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. What way? Rainbow? Okay, I'll be right back. <laughs> Come on. Okay, sorry. Um, we're, they are going out of town um, this weekend basically for Memorial. Their anniversary is coming up. And um, so we're actually dog sitting for them, but I don't know if we're going over Wednesday. So if we are going over, I don't usually, I don't cook on Wednesdays. If we aren't going over, we'll do the pork leftovers. Um, and then Thursday, Friday, we are doing, um, I'm making a big batch of Mexican rice for my brother and sister who are moving. And I'm going to make a lot of it for us too. And I'm going to do like rice bowls out of that. 
And then Saturday, we are going to do the raviolis because I don't have anything planned. And then Sunday is up in the area. I haven't really figured out Sunday. Um, so yeah, that's kind of our meal plan for the week. Um, I'm going to use like the asparagus and the pasta, um, the cheese and the avocados and the Mexican bowl. Um, this goes in my rice. This is, I'm making a cake for my brother and my sister-in-law who are moving. So that goes with the cake. Um, yeah, so that's my haul. <laughs> I don't really know what else more. This was a very small haul. Like I said, I'm really trying to spread our meals as far as I can and not spend as much in groceries just to get us through May and then hopefully I'll have big meals again and um, honestly, I don't mind this. We're not, bit, you know, we don't care about leftovers and stuff like that, so it's all good here. So. Thank you for watching this jumbled mess, and I promise I'm okay. <laughs> and, um, yeah, uh, stay tuned because I am actually filming a video right after this. So stay tuned for that, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.